what is going on guys welcome back to another video i know it's been a while but if you guys have seen the news texas was pretty crazy with weather last week you can actually see grass is completely dead now the weather is actually pretty nice now and well everything luckily was fine here with my family we didn't have any issues but as you guys can see we still have the camaro here and today we're going to talk about the camaro itself give you guys a little update on how we're doing with the sale and the procedures and kind of give you guys an insight as to what you might have to end up dealing with when you try to sell a car that you might still owe on with a loan or anything like that talk about that procedures as well as also give you guys a walk around show you guys the engine bay i know i didn't do that in the last video so i want to give you guys a walk around of that and just give you guys an update it's been a while and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and find some of the information informative that is loud Really quick guys before we get to the video i want to just give a huge shout out and thanks to all of my subscribers we're at almost 4700 subscribers you guys are killing it and if you really love this channel and support the channel make sure to hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you haven't about three out of every four of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed and we're still getting more subscribers by the day so really really appreciate it and if you want to support the channel buy some merch i do have the link down in the description we've got hats we've got t-shirts really good quality but anyways let's get right to it and give you guys the cold start on this camaro now i believe the valves are going to be closed but it should still sound really really good the valves are closed and I mean this thing is just awesome started up right away even after not being ran in almost two weeks or so okay first time it's seen I guess a little bit of clouds in a long time but there we've got the valves open now I mean man this thing just sounds amazing and poor grass hopefully we'll get some stuff and take care of this in the future but there you have it guys now let's get here into the engine bay you guys can see the nitrous purge set up in the center and there you have it right away you see the nitrous outlet msd plate kits Obviously we've got the MSD ported by Prey intake, the purge kit running here on the side up through the hood. And then of course the standalone fuel system that feeds our fuel solenoid. So we're not tapping into our stock car fuel. And we've got the fuel regulator, fuel pressure. We've got fuel pressure safety switch along with our nitrous timing box and controller, which is kind of down there. And of course, that all controls the solenoid and the nitrous kits. We've got the Rotofab cold air with the sound tube delete. We've got a 95 millimeter solar throttle body with the 95 millimeter to MSD 103 opening solar transition adapter. And that is pretty cool. I'll probably show a picture of it on the screen, but basically it makes sure that the throttle body to the 102 millimeter nitrous outlet slash MSD opening has the tapered edge so you don't have any cutoffs or anything and it's a smooth transition for the air to go in. We do have the GPI ported heads, speed engineering setup, We've got a Prey Performance Stage 3 cam along with, not sure if you guys can see, but it is an ATI lower balancer and our Mighty Mouse catch cam. And this setup has performed, I mean, tip top all the time, very consistent, running 10.7, 10.64, 10.7s, 
at 132, 133 when we're at the track NA and on a 175 shot of nitrous, 9.6, 9.7s at the low 140s pretty much every single time without any issues. Don't even worry about spinning the car hooks and goes. Still stock axles, stock drivetrain on some YYZ drop springs which seem to be doing really well and not hurting the performance at all off the line. Now one thing I wanted to show you guys with the controller that you might have missed is with the timing box it does have a two-step feature and I actually wired that into this heater switch so when the he this heater switch is open I've got a two-step set at about 1500 or 2000 so if I was to floor it just completely floor it this thing would just go to the two-step level at 2500 <laughs> now obviously that's just for shits and giggles not really useful I don't need it with the setup the way the car is I'm, I don't have a turbo car or anything like that but it's fun to have and I believe without the cats and everything it could potentially even be shooting flames out the back but I mean I don't really care for it it's just it sounds pretty fun if we could do it one more time <laughs> yeah but anyways that only happens when we activate the heater switch we can turn it off and actually go back to just normal normal revving and even go above that anyways that was pretty cool let's talk about where we're at with selling this car guys now when i posted this car for sale about three weeks ago give or take I did have the post at 42,000 with the street wheels and 45,000 with the welds in the garage. Now I've since decided we're going to keep the welds so those are off the table but we're going to sell the car as is and I even removed the wrap. I had it at 42,000 and I actually had an offer for $40,000 and I decided to take it so we are in the works right now i do have an offer pending but here's where i want to talk to you guys about selling a car especially if you it's a fairly new car that you are still ha that you still have a loan on through a bank now this isn't going to be my first car that i sell that still has a loan or lien on with a bank i actually had a 2017 com i actually had a 2017 chevy ss that i sold to get this car actually this camaro and the process of selling that car was actually very very easy and that is because i actually went through a local credit union so I, there was a branch here locally that i could go to and sign paperwork and the credit union was phenomenal I talked to them, told them my situation, told them I was trying to sell the car and that I had a buyer and the the credit union actually basically refinanced the car to the new buyer and because they did it, it was super simple. We just had to go to the local branch and sign a couple paperwork and within 15, 20 minutes, we were in and out and the owner had the car all under his name and everything was transferred. My loan was paid off and any extra or anything that I owed, I just had to pay to the bank or the bank would pay me and the new owner could drive away. Now, unfortunately, this Camaro was financed using one of the dealer's own financing and they ended up using SunTrust Bank and SunTrust Bank does not have a local branch that I can go to here in Houston. Because they don't have a local branch, it was going to be a lot more difficult to be able to do any type of paperwork or signatures and even more difficult when you are trying to do what I did with the car. So I reached out to SunTrust Bank and it seems like this is what happens with a lot of banks. The way that they are going to do it, which makes it much simpler for both parties involved, the seller and the buyer, is for the buyer to just basically take out a new loan through the same bank to pay off the existing loan and that is the way that they're able to just transfer all the 
lien papers title all that from the seller to the buyer without having any issues and making things easy and like i mentioned that was very easy to do when the bank had a local branch that we could go to but with SunTrust, they don't have a local branch in Houston, so it was going to be very difficult to try to get everyone on conference calls, signatures, paperwork, all that taken care of, and could basically draw out a sale for, you know, a month or two. So, what I decided to do was just go ahead and send the payoff for the car so that I can get the title and basically make the transaction so much easier. So... Guys, one recommendation, if you can do it, if it's possible, go ahead and just send the payoff before you decide to sell a car, as a fairly new car that you might still have a lien on. That is going to make the selling process much, much easier, even if it is to somebody else that's going to finance through another bank. When you have a title already, it's a lot simpler to do any type of paperwork and do what needs to get done. I went ahead and I sent the payoff for this car. So now I'm just waiting on the title to get here. And once the title gets here, if everything goes well, the new buyer will be coming out here to pay me basically give me a cashier's check and or we're gonna go through their bank and I just have to provide the title to the bank a copy of the title to the bank and all that good stuff and we are gonna be basically saying goodbye to the SS guys I know a lot of you guys were hitting me up about the part out or if you remove stuff and at this point I do have one buyer that we're that is pretty much committed and of course just waiting on that title to get here i got a second buyer that is basically saying if the first one doesn't come through he's willing and able and ready to go so at this point i the likelihood of the camaro selling is very very high and it should be happening here in the next two to three weeks so what does that mean in terms of the channel and looking for the next car guys i've actually been looking for z01s and they are a lot harder to find especially in the color and miles and year that i want it's getting difficult to find so we might take a little bit longer to find it but i am in no rush guys i am not gonna rush buying another car even if this one leaves and i can't find one before this one goes um i am just gonna make sure i take my time to find the right car and start the journey again all over with you guys in the meantime if the camaro leaves i do plan on starting to work a little bit on this truck I probably will be taking it out to the track and just kind of seeing some baseline numbers. I do have a cold air intake in there and I'm going to be tuning it, maybe doing some long tube headers and of course um, basically just doing some E85 stuff as well. It is flex fuel so it should be able to handle full E85 tune. So. I'm hoping this thing can run in the high 13s as it sits and then maybe get us into the low 13s, maybe a high 12 with the headers E85 and the two. But I'm actively going to be looking for that Z01 guys and hopefully I can find one and the timing will be perfect where this one will go and we'll bring the Z01 in and we will be able to continue the content maybe even some <laughs> lawn and other power content guys i just picked this up yesterday which is my 40 volt electric lawnmower and 40 volt string trimmer and these are the newest hp line stuff not that many reviews on i might do one of those so if you guys do see a video on these obviously might not be truly car related but they are some kind of motor and if you're into that kind of stuff make sure to click on it and check it out I'll, I'll probably give you guys my review on these not many reviews out on them and if you're not interested then you guys can probably just skip that video and wait till i do something like take the truck to the track or go to the track and show you guys some of the other cars that are out there and of course um 
maybe an update on the video when this car finally gets sold that'll be a sad day and when hopefully i get my new car so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a little bit of information out of it i might have talked a little bit too much but this is something that i've told you guys i was going to do talk about exactly how the selling process was and what i'm having to do and maybe that'll help you out in the future so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one